Today, my guest is the winner of international competitions of Tchaikovsky, Inescu, Vinyevsky, Thibaut, the famous violinist Ike Kazazian. Ike, hello. Hello, everyone. Today, we're speaking about playing on a G string, about the problems that are associated with this string. Ike, what can you say? That's true, to play on a G string with a beautiful sound is not easy at all. The main problems are wolf tones, a quality of the instrument. If we're lucky enough to have a good instrument, it is perfect, though the wolf tones probably will not be gone. I will tell you how to deal with them, but the most important thing in my opinion is to find a good tone. Show me how you are looking for a tone on a G string. It really sounds great. Sigal by Ravel, isn't it? Thank you. What you need to do is to play, of course, very gently because there is quite a sensitive area there. Gently with the right hand? Basically, all the job is done by the right hand. The left hand needs only to play the correct keys. As Johann Sebastian Bach would say, Tell me, how much pressure do you need to use on a fingerboard with your left hand, just so that it is closed strings to avoid gaps? Show me, please. Is it better to put a finger on the nail or on the fingertip? I think there could be, of course, a different way of hand positioning, but to use the fingertip is always better. About the amount of pressure, you don't need much because it would be over tension on your hand. What about the turning position of the left hand? In general, you need to imagine that it's not so hard. It's the same as we play on the E string, but, of course, the hand turns slightly in that direction. This is the correct position. So, we forward the hand a little bit over here. Of course, but it again depends on the physiological features and different types of hands. Someone has big hands, someone small. Tell me how to deal with wolf notes in case if you're not lucky and your violin has a wolf tone. For example, you've got the wolf on a very common sound C sharp. There are two options. There can be an unbreakable wolf. If you play them with full power, vibration and tight bow, they are resisting and do not want to sound. Then you should be gentle, very careful. Gently with the right hand, with left hand too. I mean, the vibration has to be very little and well controlled. In other words, the left hand vibrato has to be constant with a little amplitude. And what about the right hand? You have to treat the string very carefully. Do not push. Yes, do not push. This one kind of wolf tone, unbreakable. If it is another type, breakable, just a small one, you take things into your own hands and play that note at full strength. Do you have some unbreakable wolf notes? Unbreakable? Thank God, no. That's really great. Ike is very lucky with his instrument. That's true. By the way, there's another problem associated with playing on a G string. How close to the bridge should the bow be while playing? Or should you place it closer to the fingerboard? It sounds perfect, but where's your bow? If I played here, this is how it would sound. Something like that. It turns out that as higher position you play with a left hand and closer the bow is to the fingerboard, the sound quality is worse. So if you climb to a high position and the bow should be close to, to the bridge, of course, closer to the bridge, very interesting. But you need to play it very carefully because if you just play it close to the bridge, it will be called sol ponticello. That means to play this sound, such an unpleasant sound, but it is also a special device. The importance here is the ability to find the tone, I would say to feel the instrument. Wonderful! Today our special guest was Haik Kazazian, and we were speaking about the techniques of playing on the G-string. The very basic of them are, the higher you climb to the left-hand position, the closer must be a bow to the bridge. That's first. The second, if your instrument has no buzzes, it's wonderful. You're just lucky. And the third, of course, do not be afraid to expand. Turn your hand a little when you go to the higher positions. Ike, thank you for joining us today. Yuri, it was very nice. My pleasure. Good luck to everyone everyone, and see you next time.